Okay, this is the reading for the single Leo female for February. Valentine's, I'm running through the signs here, getting lost. But for the single Leo female for February for 2018 for Valentine's. Happy Valentine's Day, Leos. I basically use a spread called the house spread I made up here where the roof is made up of how you will see see view meet your next partner so it's really kind of prediction or predictive of your next relationship coming in so the three cards that i i use i use the romance tarot and then i clarify with the sex uh and love tarot deck and i just go through the motions with that and then the four cards that make up the house are basically the relationship once it's in full swing how each other deals with the other and you know any scenarios within that so i'm going to start out with the first card um, in the romance area and that first card is the ace of cups so we are talking about singles here so when we have the ace of cups that's really Feeling full to the extent you want to go out, almost like you want to go outward with it. Two of Cups is really the joining of two people to do that. So the Ace of Cups is really all those feelings like getting ready to get into a relationship. So when we're talking about getting into a relationship, those that's where you need to be. You need to be ready to give those emotions outward. So that seems like it's there for you. And then on the sex side of things, we get 20, Judgment. And judgment is really, it's about karmic ties, karmic tied to someone, a karmic relationship, uh, something that's, you know, has been written in your chart, right? Something that you're going to feel a magnetic pull to, or it could be a repulsion of, you know, but yet karmically there's something that needs to be worked out within that. And there's a lot of rings here. If you look at the arms, the man and the male and the female, they're really wrapped with that red ribbon, right? And all under that angel, he's looking down, going, yeah, you guys got a lot to learn here. So your next partner, it uh, may be a long-term or maybe short-term, but if it's short-term, there's going to be a lot of punch packed in that relationship. You're going to have a lot of lessons that you're going to learn through this person. It can be short and tumultuous, but nonetheless, very impactful in your life, right? You could have it very short or it could be a long term relationship with a lot of things working out through this relationship. And nonetheless, I feel like you're ready to get into a relationship when it comes to you or magnetizes to you because I feel like it's, it's karmically laid out. Okay. The next card I get in the romance area is to uh, the high priestess because three is the empress. Sorry, I'm getting lost here. So the high priestess here, she's that lady that is knowledgeable. She has her intuition guiding her. She goes by that. She does not wear her heart on her sleeve as much as the empress does because she's learned. She's been through a lot of tough times. She's not naive in any way. She cuts through the illusions. She can't be fooled by a lot of uh, game playing or anything like that. So Having the Empress sit here, I feel like that's just saying, you know what, I've got enough experience here. I'm not going to be pulled in by anything uh, frivolous, light, or something that's not worthy of me. So I get a sense from the Leo female that she's very much in that position. She's not going to take anything that's not of her worth. And that's very much the High Priestess energy as well. So as we move into uh, the sex side, right, we get the Five of Pentacles. And the Five of Pentacles is that romantical card, right? You have this couple that are really kind of indulging in a passion. And I get a sense this is a courtyard or, 
you know, a gazebo somewhere in, in the tropics. I don't know. Lots of flowers, very romantical, very romantic feelings, feeling an equality there. And almost to a degree where we see the male more than the female. So we, we're getting a sense that the male is engaging more in wowing the female, right? And I mean, the Leo female is just going to eat that up. And then the violins in the corner, we were playing that earlier and got her in the mood. You know, it's all going really good. So really good grounded romantical stuff. So we got, we got a smart woman here engaging in some good romance. Okay. That's really, this is again, how the meeting happens, right? So the next card I get in the rooftop here is the eight of cups. So that's celebration card. And even though we have two male or one male and two females here, I feel it's all congenial. I feel it's all friendship and fun and light and from it being out with friends and having a good time. So I feel like the Leo female is just really maybe at a point where she's, she's single and she's got that cup full and now she's really showing it off. So, you know, not necessarily, Hey, I'm single, you know, that kind of thing, but, um, being joyous and being herself and being all of herself in public. So on display for anybody to come flirt type thing. So I feel like uh, pub public socialization is part of her routine at this point. She's feeling very comfortable and going outward and being amongst people. And Leos are very much like that. It's kind of like, you know, they don't mind being out and look, looked at in public. It's, it's very comfortable for them. So that's where their, their comfort lies. And that's where they may be seen by this individual. And then uh, the next card I get for the sex side of things is the fool. So that's really talking about the sexual side of things is making that transition. So we had a relationship. We are now very well ready for a new adventure. And not only do we start with a, a cup that's full of emotions ready to go in any direction, but I feel a sense of balance here. Like we're not we're we're jaded in the way that we've learned from things but we're not jaded where we're really bringing any baggage here he's just got a little pouch and he's on his way he don't have no baggage so a lot of this stuff emotional stuff has been dealt with so there either a sense of of being single for enough time where we figured our stuff out and now we're ready to move on or uh just not having a lot of baggage to deal with that's unprocessed. I feel like we've processed it all and ready to go. So, and going in that direction nonetheless. So just a light heartedness and being out and amongst the social group is where we kind of are picking up on the vibe here. This is where it's going to start or the, you know, the connection is going to start from that direction. So as we get into the cards inside the house, this is about the relationship once it's in full bloom. So after we're in the dating phase, right, we've gone through that and we've kind of dropped all our barriers and we're the people we are going to be in the relationship. The first card I get is the five of canes. So the five of canes is really about someone admiring you and really needing to tell you that. And needing to really, so it's, you know, you being out in public ready for that adventure and then suddenly it, it comes walking up to your doorstep, you know. You're out in public, you're having fun, and somebody pulls you to the side and says, hey, how you doing, you know, like, I want to get to know you more. So there's that sense of that, and you very much indulging and being open to that. And that's really the beginning process here. Now... Okay, I might have to backstep a bit. <laughs> the next card I get on the sexual side of things is the Queen of Pentacles. Now, the Queen of Pentacles can be somewhat reserved and, and pushing away of an energy. But I, I'm getting a specific area here. I'm feeling like there's an interest. Okay, a male is showing an interest in this female. And we have a sense here, the Queen of Pentacles not having any time, but I think what it is, is that we're cutting the sexual side out. You court me um, like a gentleman, you know, I'm not going to give it up until you show me what you got type thing. So I feel like this Leo is really laying it on the line here. Um, 
this is amazing the energy that I'm feeling and I don't feel it's a, in a prudish way I'm feeling it's in a very I've been through this before I know the carpet I have to lay out here and you should know the carpet too and if you don't then I'm going to question your authority over me because nobody gets authority over me unless they deserve it, right? So there's kind of a little bit of an underground thing here. But I feel like this man coming for, I don't know, we'll pick up more as we go on here. But I feel like he may just be up for that challenge, you know, uh, since there's a karmic tie here, right? Because that's usually more of a magnetic attraction. They're not willing to just brush off that easily. You know, it's kind of like, I gotta go back there, something there. <laughs> uh, so we have a queen here that even though uh, we're not in the element like this there's a fire element here but we have a strong sturdy stable sense of mind that is is more concrete than than her character even but she's been through enough she knows there's a limit here and she's not going to let anybody just come in and and start you know bull in a china chop kind of thing so uh she's she's she wants to be romance and she wants to be wine and dine, and you got to show me how you do it. And that's what's going to happen here. So she's laying the carpet out for him. So it's interesting. We'll see where that goes. The next card I get is the Knight of Cups. Now the Knight of Cups, man, he's the one. He's the one that's showing up there. He's going to express his emotions. He's going outward with it, right? He's going to express how do I feel, da, da, da. Now, if he's frivolous, he's a knight, so he can go, you know, he can tend to be a little immature or he can be, you know, a stronger knight towards a king and really have those emotions under control and, and really wanting to faithfully go in that direction. Now, the sense I'm getting here is just uh, that offer. Boom, it's in your face. It's emotionally driven and you know that I want it. So this is the offer going to that queen, okay? Now, on the sex side of things, we have strength. And this is right behind. This is on the, the, the Knight of Cups. So he does have the strength to hold off here. Whatever limits she's going to put, he's going to stand right up to there. So that's good. Because <laughs> we need, and we're talking about a Leo here. So I feel like very much he can stand up for this. So this is a... A cup energy so we may be talking about a Pisces um, a cancer or a Scorpio or a male that is really emotionally driven emotionally in charge and emotionally stable charging in there and he's not scared at all to show his emotions in fact he does so uh, to a high degree right but nonetheless he's willing to stand up for that so and there's a strength here that matches the Leos, you know, the, because the, the 11, right, is the strength. And we've got this woman overpowering a boar in this sex uh, deck. It's, she's overpowering a boar, but I get the sense of that Leo lion, right? And so we have a male here that has a sense of strength within him. We'll see where he goes. Now, the next card I get is the Eight of Swords. So the Eight of Swords is about sorrow, sadness, and uh, I'm getting the word guilt, but I don't usually attribute that to this. But I'm, I'm getting a sense of sadness and sorrow and loss here from this Eight of Swords. Now, it's directly under the meeting, you know, of this gentleman. So we'll carry on. And be behind that, I get the Eight of Pentacles on the sex side of things. And the Eight of Pentacles is an offer being refused, okay? So there's a male. That comes out there, he's gallantly riding, he's not afraid to show, he cares. But for some reason, the Queen of Pentacles is kind of refusing this offer. Now this offer, they're both on the bed together. He's the rose, she's kind of drinking the coffee. So there may be a little bit of a discussion here that has to happen before she can warm up. She has to warm up to things. I think this guy on the, on the horse here, I mean he's off the horse in the romantic cards but I feel like his offer is just a little bit grandiose little too much and she's going hey cool it you know you 
know you gotta be straight with this and I'll just cool yourself and what do you got you know it's like she's still willing to communicate they're still willing to barter here about what's what what do I want what so I feel if he has and he's got strength here but what is the strength for now the next card I get is 17 the star okay now if we look at the shadow in here we got a couple holding hands okay so the star is like what direction are we going to take this in and that really expands from the eight of pentacles it's like okay we need to discuss where we want to take this like these two people have to get on the same page and i feel like even though this male coming in here this emotional guy there's nothing that really faces the leo female she's going okay but what do you got to offer here? She really wants to find out what's behind this. I, I'm not just going to accept things from you without knowing what I'm getting into, right? What am I What am I driving here? A Porsche or a station wagon? We're going to find out. <laughs> Let's get in and take it for a ride. But not on the physical side of things. She's not willing to even go there. You got to date me, court me in, in the old fashioned way, right? That's the, the sense I'm getting. So this is, this is good. This is... <laughs> this is gravy so as we move past that what direction are we going to go on the sex side of things we get the emperor and i feel like that's the male coming in and stating and taking charge and saying yeah i'm gonna go and whatever i have to pull another card because we can't just leave on this boundary of yeah i'm the emperor and i've got strength here so we're going to see where that lands now we get the five of swords. Now the five of swords is that getting together physically, intimately. So I'm going to pull another romance. Oh my God. And then we have 15, 16, 17, 18, which is the moon. So there's going to be a romantical kind of joining to these two because the man is really this, this cups, this emotional guy. He's going to come up and say, look, I'm the emperor. I could take charge. And I, I know what I want. And I, you know, he's going to answer all the questions she's got laid out. Because I think she's going to have, feel like she has the upper hand. Like this guy's just going to take off. Like she's going to throw him off the track and he's not going to be deterred so quickly. So he's going to step up and say, okay, good. Now I've got something. I, you know, I want this even more now. You know, I want to go in the direction now more than I did before. So really an unraveling of these two in character to getting to know each other. And then the moon is kind of symbolizing, ah, we'll leave the rest to them to figure out what direction they're going to go. And, and that's that. It's kind of the stop here. We have the five of swords. They're going to get tactile with it. We'll put it that way. Boundaries, they're not going to be dropped. They're going to be, um, what do you call that, disgust and manipulated. But we're not going to, we're, we're, I don't feel like this Leo female is going to give up her boundary completely, but they'll work within that, right? And he'll accommodate her, she'll accommodate him to a certain degree, 50 50. It's all real good and fun. And really, I think it's a challenge for both of them. I think maybe this limit for this female, this Leo female, she's not put it on herself before. She's willing to do so now. And I feel like the male coming into her, I think, is, um, He's not had this limit before, so it's kind of exciting for him in a way, in an adventurous kind of way. Like, I haven't dealt with this before. This is, I want to find out more. You know, it's kind of titillating in a way. So it, it's a very interesting direction that I feel this Leo female going. So I wish her all the luck. It's really, uh, I give her kudos for standing up for her rights in that way. She has every, especially with what's going on in the world today, um, she has every right to do that. And, and this man has every right to accommodate her within her limits. So I feel that that is a really groovy thing. And I think as long as those boundaries are kept, right, it's all about the boundary. Um, and I feel like this man here, he's just really gregarious is what it is. He's just really outwardly uh, free to say that he cares for her and wants to be with her. And it may be a little off putting for her, but nonetheless, there's talk and, things are agreed upon and then there's a consolation here so things are mediated to a degree that it satisfies everybody so they and then they they dive into a direction where they're they're more of a meeting of the minds rather than 
uh, physically. So that's really interesting, really good and healthy. And I think it's nothing but good stuff for February. So happy Valentine's Day, Leo female singles. I have to check my page to make sure I'm saying everything properly. But yeah, so happy Valentine's Day. Take care, have fun, and be kind.